Welcome to round two of four for the Discraft Green Mountain Championship. I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. We're the two huggies. Honk, honk. This is round two of three before there's a cut, but two of four for the entire event. Um, it was a little warmer today, but generally still fairly chilly. We had a north wind, and every time that thing got blowing, it was very cold. It was swirly. It was gusty. We're going to watch Hina Blomroos. Kristen Tatar, Vanessa Van Dyken, and Missy Gannon attack Fox Run Meadows. This is the complement to Brewster Ridge. It's wide open, a lot of OB lined fairways, but a fair amount of tight, narrow tree lined fairways you have to hit as well. Can't wait. Hole one is a par four, 565. You're throwing from out of bounds. You can see the white stakes there is inbounds. If you miss it, there's a drop zone on the right. Ideally, you want to land kind of just by these trees if you can make it and then it sets up for a nice forehand or anheuser turnover the out of bounds wraps pretty close behind the basket you can find it on the drive or the upshot at any time um pretty common <laughs> hole out here at fox, fox run lots of artificial ob yeah this plate is the one of the always plays a, as one of the most the difficult box. holes of the day coming to us from rauma finland let's hear it for henna glamorous had a headwind on this hole if I remember correctly. Nice to see Hina back on the lead card after a really strong showing at Worlds. Definitely. She has never played GMC. This is her first time. See how she shreds the course. It's We have a cool card today. Henna and Kristen with a little bit more, more power, which is very much rewarded out here at Fox Run. Vanessa and Missy, not quite as much power, but both good putters and strong mental games. So we're going to see a little bit of everything today. That looks great. It's cool, too, because we watch people that excelled at a wooded course now play a, a more open course. Yeah, good point. Next up, from Parnu, Estonia, fresh off her capture of her first world championship for disc golf. Let's give it up for Kristen Tatar. Woo! World champion Kristen Tatar has a nice ring to it. <laughs> Sure does. Uh, I was mistaken yesterday. I thought this was Kristen's first GMC, though I know she's played Worlds here, but she played here in 2019 and got second. So my bad. <laughs> Great shot. Yeah, no big deal. Second place. Yeah, whatever. It wasn't first. I love watching Vanessa's game. I got to play with her yesterday. She's one of the strongest mental games, I think, of any of the FPO players. She can really reset and score at any time. Very clean golf, usually, from Vanessa. And like Erica said earlier, when her putt is on, it is lights out. Mm -hmm. She's going nuke here. That looks good. Man, some picture perfect drives. Completing this lead card, in from Beacon, New York, the current disc golf pro tour champion. Let's hear it for Missy Gannon. Missy always near the top of the leaderboard. Yeah, she's really been playing strong, especially like the second half of this year, which is kind of how last year went too. So we can expect her to win everything moving forward. <laughs> <laughs> Thrasher, obviously. Wow. So they're on lead card for a reason, huh? Yeah, making this drive look easy, like I said earlier, this is the third most difficult hole of the day. And you'll see as conditions uh, worsen, conditions worsen as they go through the course. Mm -hmm. It gets windier and windier, especially on the middle nine holes. It's brutal. That was a really good upshot from Henna with the champion rock three. I think the backhand is definitely a little trickier to shape than the forehand on this upshot. Yeah, it definitely is a higher risk shot. That's a little risky, though, from Kristen. Fortress. Let's see. Green. She'll have a bit of a putt. I think she's just outside the circle. I'm surprised that this is one of the hardest holes of the day, you, honestly. I don't know. <laughs> if you, A lot of people go OB on the drive. There was a headwind, so I saw a lot go straight and yep. not hyzer out. And then this this is tricky, too, if you're getting aggressive. And then it is, it is difficult to recover anything better than a bogey from the drop zone. That was a really... 
smooth forehand from Missy with her Zeus. I feel like she didn't quite have the forehands dialed yesterday, but that looked great. Yeah. And Vanessa with a meteor. Also putting for birdie. They're all putting for birdie. Yeah, that's only 15% of the field birdied it, too. So that's only six people. Yeah. And we've got four looks here on the lead card. Get it, Kristen. Mm. Wow. <laughs> she makes those look like 20-footers. Yeah. Not 40. Yeah, let's watch it again. Just a casual, no Stand big still. deal. Routine. It almost feels like it's all arm. I know those legs are involved, but wow. Yeah, just she's perfect it, timing on the putt for sure. Yep. Vanessa for birdie. A little low. Henna from, what, 20? A little, 22 maybe? Just to hear low on the cage, but dead center. I feel like she usually, that was like all arm. I feel like she usually gets a little bit more of her body into the putt. I think I overheard her um, talking and saying that she's been doing a lot of practice putting, so maybe she's working on with some new form, you know. There's a lot of putting errors and issues at World, so mm -hmm. maybe trying something new. Yeah, we'll see. Missy, just not trying something new, just Thrasher, super good forehand, easy birdie. Two down on the card is pretty dang good, though. Yeah, not a bad way to start bogey-free already. Hole two, uphill 248 feet, but it goes a little bit back downhill after you crest the midpoint. Uh, Y'all check out the Two Hot Geese merch up in the corner. We got tie-dye hats available. In the meantime, don't look too hard. There is out of bounds that wraps right around behind the basket. So uh, sidearm is kind of a risky play is what I was about to say. Yeah. And then Kristen just pulls that out. It is, though. I mean, it slants left to right once you get down there, and that OB comes in tight. I think most of the time you see like a smooth backhand putter or mid-range. Yeah, it's okay to bail out left too. It does mm -hmm. make the putty more difficult because there are more trees over there, pin high. Ooh, this is it. That's a meteor. So pretty. Wow. Yes, Missy. Such good finesse. This is a star invader from Henna and also so wow. gorgeous. Wow, it's a lot of ground play. A little bit of a putt coming back. Yeah, to start, you know, you have some of these trees blocking the wind. It was probably a steady at least 10 miles an hour mm -hmm. with like maybe 15 gusts. Yeah, this one you could kind of feel a little left to right wind as you got closer to the green, but it was fairly blocked. Yeah, whole four, it starts to really come into play. Another forehand, interesting. That might Ooh, great be turn the on only it though. Line. Yeah. Ooh. What control? Again, only six birdies on the day on hole two. Vastly different type of hole from hole one. It has to be the shortest too on the course. I believe. So everyone really wants this one. So I'm surprised only six. Yeah, this fairway's tight. It is. And if you're early, too, like, uh, it's, it's hard brutal. to save par. Also, if you miss your putt here, sometimes they pick up and roll OB, and all of a sudden you're like, I double bogeyed that? Yeah. You know? 240 feet. No big deal. Henna unable to connect. Vanessa with a, a par comebacker. And one of the tricky things about this course, especially on this side of the property, is um, a lot of the greens, you can get all the way down there and be inside the circle and just not really have much to work with. They have very well-placed trees on the green. Missy, two for two. Had a girl. <laughs> Hold trees uphill par three, 300 feet. Um, there's a mandatory on the right there. Uh, OB on the right. The left side is not out of bounds, but just very wooded. Um, hard to get all the way there. 
This green is so steeply sloped, it's really difficult to throw approaches once you've landed short, if you catch an early tree, and it can very easily roll out of bounds oh, deep yeah. as well. Yeah, there's out of bounds behind the basket too. You basically just want to barely crest the hill with like a fairway driver is really common. And that's the best mistake you can make right there, what we see Missy doing. Oh, gosh. Making that initial gap and kind of bailing out left usually plays out pretty well for par. Kristen with a Claymore here. Disking down to a mid-range, just throwing it nice and straight. She'll have a circle two putt for birdie. Mm. Henna pushing the ceiling, that is the way to get to the basket with a slower speed disc, the only way. Um, but fortunately, just a little bit too high. Thankfully, it stays inbound. Yeah, that was a mean little branch. But she should have an angle from there to get par. Ooh, Beautiful. Vanessa. Man, that was a nice looking shot. Yeah, that was a heat, which I believe, is that a fairway driver or is that a full Ooh, I driver? Think, I am unsure. I feel like it's a fairway driver. I feel like it's like a 10, 9 or 10 speed or something. I'm not a disc craft person. <laughs> I think it's got a little stability as well. Just a bit. Henna with a decent upshot. She will have a little bit of a putt left for her par. Missy just laying up. You know if she's laying up, it's a dangerous putt <laughs> to go for. Kristen looks like she's running this soft. Oh my gosh. Not that soft. <laughs> Good bid. I really like watching people run putts like that. Oh, yeah, me That's too. That's one that you see a ton of people lay up. Vanessa not quite connecting on her putts. Yet. I'm sure we'll see her dial hole it in. Hole three played as the fourth most difficult hole of the day. Mm. And that surprises me because I'm, I'm telling you, we're about to watch a lot of really hard holes. We are. But so. I think you have, you kind of have to attack early yeah. you know these are very reachable yeah and they start to stretch out that's what it, it's like this is one of the few that you can like, get a birdie on that's one of the par three so it's only three birdies on the day holly finley alex benson and i got one <laughs> <laughs> honk honk <laughs> checking in with the leaderboard here missy so far two under um, is the best score. Paige also two under through seven. Um, we're going to see a little bit more under par than we did yesterday at Brewster. Maybe a li just a little. Though, just a little. The conditions like get so bad. Yeah. Um, and swirly and inconsistent. That's the thing. Wind is one thing, but it gets really weirdly inconsistent wind. Um, hole four is a big turnover shot or a sidearm onto this first green. That bush is the main thing you want to avoid, but it's also easy to find out of bounds deep left and right. Your second shot carries OB again, basket slightly elevated on this rock platform, and then the out of bounds comes in pretty close behind, only about 35 or 40 feet away from the pen. You occasionally see people go down this, what looks like the actual fairway, but not that often. That right side fairway is just so much bigger. Mm -hmm. And it makes the second shot a lot easier. Yeah. And that's a really common error to overturn it. And there is out of bounds over there, but Missy does check up right before it. We had a left to right kind of head more crosswind. Mm -hmm. That definitely helped the disc carry over to the right. Yeah, usually it's smart to throw something super flippy, but the, the wind definitely kind of carried it to the right. Kristen with a forehand, which is a cool play. Yeah, I love this play. Really smart. That's a rive. And that's Ugh. the one thing you got to avoid. You could still birdie from there. It just makes it a lot you think more so? difficult. Yeah. Right behind the tree? I watched Alex Benson do it. Well, it was, that sounds like magic. <laughs> it was impressive. Maybe it was local magic. <laughs> Hannah with a oh. great looking turnover. Um, Alex Benson has never worked at Smug, so she was like, I don't know where that rumor started. <laughs> she did learn to pa like play disc golf here. Paige Pierce was telling everyone that. Oh, okay. Well, it's <laughs> false information. <laughs> that was a really great shot from henna there that looked like a mid-range oh you know what is a putter s-line p2 hmm. it's cool she gave it a ton of height did not fly like a putter well she throws really hard that's true you have vanessa gonna be right behind this bush as well you think <sighs> she has to be laying up yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, that's a, that's a really technical shot to go for. I think the flex forehand would be the only way to get there, and it's just so maybe risky. Not, yeah, and maybe not in Vanessa's bag. Playing for par is always good on both of these courses. Cool to see Missy lean on the forehand again. She's going Zeus. Beautiful. That's a really solid power sidearm for Missy. Birdie. <laughs> Smart I'm, play from Kristen. At 476, this has to be the easiest par four I on agree. the course. I feel like it should usually plays as one of the easiest holes on the course in mm -hmm. general. It's up there. It's in the top five easiest um, with 33% of the field taking a birdie. I'm just going to say once again that Henna's perfect drive was with the putter. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Yeah. She's in the ideal spot. Kind of fluffs the upshot, unfortunately. Yeah, kind of surprising to see her fluff that shot. Vanessa's third. The second shot definitely does cater towards the sidearm. Mm -hmm. The for the backhand looks a little funny because you're carrying OB a little bit farther, and there's those trees that block the dummy hyzer. Vanessa a straight shot. lands in that little circle of rocks, which is just like a great feeling <laughs> you know it feels better than landing in the bullseye I yeah, don't know why it does Kristen up there in the circle for her part. are the rocks in the bullseye mm, I feel like that's mismarked I agree Hannah I think she was running it but it's gonna be a par yeah the wind got pretty whippy on the screen in particular Missy for birdie ladies three down through four wow coming to play that was a tester putt too with that headwind mm -hmm. elevated basket kristen for her par yep yeah missy kind of reeling in kristen and henna early yeah coming in strong mm -hmm. vanessa just playing clean even par so far. She's had some looks. Just needs to get that putter going. Try not to overthink your form when you're competing. During the tournament, you have to stay in the moment. It's easy to lose the moment when you're overanalyzing things. But playing disc golf is all about intuition. You have to play with feeling. Next time you're on the tee pad, take a deep breath, take in your surroundings. Visualize your line and trust in all the work that you've put in. Mastering your focus is why this game is so special. It's what keeps us coming back for more. Hole five is a very difficult par three. It's 445, almost as long as the last hole we just played. It is downhill, but you're not going to see hardly any birdies. OB on the right and left, most shots are going to take this drone flight where you try to take the hyzer line and just landing anywhere in the ditch is fantastic. You can see how tight the out of bounds wraps around the green. I think a lot of people end up throwing like a hyzer pointed towards OB, like just past that DGPT sign. Um, and just try to swing in at the right time. If you land in the bushes in the middle, you might as well be OB. It's so hard to save a par from there. That is a fact. There is nothing from there. But it does keep a lot of discs from going out of bounds. That's true, yeah. Missy does get past the uh, center foliage. The wind was really stiff when my card came through here. Yeah, you can see a pretty good headwind, it looks like, from the flags. Enough to think about. Kristen early and out of bounds. This plate is the fourth most difficult hole of the day. A birdie feels like an eagle here. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I've even seen one in person. They don't, yeah, I don't think they happen very often. Let's see if Hannah can do it. And that is like a, an absolutely perfect drive, and she'll still be in circle two. Barely circle two. That was awesome. Champion Thunderbird. That was amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Vanessa with a nuke. Wow. Just flips on her. Come back. And look at the... Oh, oh no. man. That had so much life left to live. Oh, oh, was, she used to take it back pretty far, too. Yeah, that was a great looking shot. I, I trusted it. Yeah, I mean, it flipped probably just a hint more than she wanted. Dang it. But look at this approach. Yeah. Yeah, managing the angle on this side hill is so important. You see a lot of them land and then pick up and roll down to the bottom and leave you with a sketchy putt. And Kristen lining up beforehand, even I think that's smart because of the out of bounds on the left, but also this hill. She just has so much control with it. And maybe he's trying to throw it in. Yeah. Setting herself up for a tailwind putt for bogey. Missy with a nice open look at it. Just needs to land on the hill and check up. Beautiful. Henna for the elusive birdie. Come on. The wind got a hold of it. Just yes. a little right. Good height. And there were no birdies on the day. This is another one where par feels good. It's about 40% of the field taking a bogey or worse. Oof. Kristen keeping it to a single bogey with the out of bounds stroke. About all you can do. Same for Vanessa. I never get tired of looking at the clouds in Vermont. Yeah, they they were really nice today, and they were moving fast. I mean, not at this moment. But. <laughs> Hole six, slightly uphill, 266 feet. Definitely a gettable birdie, but it is a weird and challenging shot. It's completely blind. A big Anheuser around this tree, I think, is the best play. Or if you have that power sidearm, that's also feels a lot safer because you don't worry about hyzering out. There is out of bounds on the right hand side as well, but doesn't really come into play unless you throw your disc a little too high. The basket's slightly elevated, so closer is better. The wind was like a left to right wind, but you couldn't feel it on the tee pad. It was only once you got out of this little gap. Yeah, it was almost a tailwind too. Mm -hmm. That was so good. Missy with a thrasher. I was going to say, you almost, when you think you turn it over too much, that's like a, good a shot. great shot. Yeah, it feels like a shank. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, cool, I'm parked. Mm -hmm. Henna putting a lot more height on it, trying to get all the way up to the green. Rock three. So good. I personally love the sidearm play, but it's not really one that's within reach for a lot of people. It's a, it's a crush, straight yeah. uphill. Yeah, I'd say most people that are comfortable with the sidearm are getting to circle two. It's mm -hmm. hard to get all the way in the circle, unless you're Kristen. Vanessa throwing a heat into circle two. This plate has the second easiest hole of the day. 33% of the field taking birdies. Almost half the field finding circle one. Cool. And 75% finding circle two. That's nice. crazy. It's really good. Man, Missy just charging. Four down through six. Vanessa keeping it clean with a par. There's that wind. Yeah, it gets Oof. very strong and gusty as we move into the end of the front nine and, and well into the back nine. Mm-hmm. Henna and Kristen with pretty much tap in birdies. Hole seven's the par five, 1,017, whoa, 1,117 feet. Um, almost everyone's going to throw 
across the first out of bounds. Um, you, you see a lot of right side hyzers. Um, some people take the gap the drone flew through. Your second shot, ideally, you're getting all the way up to that bubble there. Um, and then you're throwing across an OB patch on your third uh, to the pin. It is a little bit elevated. If you don't have quite as much power, you do see some people kind of play that right side and try to be safer. I like laying up short um, and throwing across it's a little bit of a straighter angle, but there's a lot of different ways to attack this hole. This is the second most difficult hole of the day. Usually it is in that number one spot. It's, um, it's always one of the hardest. It's so hard to get through this hole without throwing out of bounds. Yeah, especially the wind we had today was pretty stiff headwind slash kind of a left to right cross if you're taking the hyzer gap like we see Missy. But that was a really great shot. Keeping it low is key. Missy disking up to a Zeus for this one. I think that was smart. I'd say the vast majority of people are taking that right side gap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the left side gap, even though it is more open, it feels a lot riskier with that it's tree on the left. Pretty tight with the OB too. That was a huge shot from Henna. That was a Star Destroyer. So this is the only hole, I think, oh no, this hole was here last, here last year. So Haley King shot the fifth highest rated round of the year last year um, in round three. It was a nine down bogey free out here at Fox Run. So Which we'll is if, unbelievable. Yeah, we'll see if anyone can even touch that. Missy's on the pretty good track. There was only, I believe, in the first round at Fox Runs, three rounds under par and mm. four in the second round. Okay. So, um, only, Elusive. Yeah, they're not a lot of under par rounds. I'm thinking in these conditions, like we might get a handful. Yeah. Everyone across um, pretty easily. Really great tee shots. Missy with plenty of room to work on the second shot. You kind of just try to ignore the white stakes. No. I feel like ugh, that's just the worst. You know, you make the drive, which is the scariest shot, and then you go OB on the second shot. And you're like, what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> it's, I mean, oftentimes it's from maybe trying to be too aggressive. Mm -hmm. And where Missy was trying to get to, even if she lands there, she's still got about 410 or 415 to the pin. Vanessa, too. Yeah, I think ideally, so Vanessa and Missy both kind of on the right side of the fairway it's a little bit harder to attack from there. It almost being, feels like you could disc down. Yeah. Being here, you get to just throw at the out of bounds and trust it a lot longer. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit easier to stay clean. Yep. Kristen with a great shot there. Where Kristen is, though, she'll still have, what, like 375 yeah. to the basket? Definitely a full rip. Mm -hmm. Henna is just so far down the fairway. Mm -hmm. And she even hit a branch. She's just trying to push the OB line. She's comfortable with the distance to cross. Yeah, honestly, she could have given it more. Vanessa looking like she's eyeing up the right side, just trying to bite off a little bit more fairway. Yeah, just a, a layup. A lot of out of bounds to still cross. Missy lining it up to go across. Looks like it. Ooh. And not even on a flex line, just a pure hyzer line. And it <gasps> goes deep. Oh, she's out. Wow. Dang it. That was a crush. Maybe she was further down than I thought. No, that was a crush. That I was mean, a smash. It is downhill. But Kristen is a little closer than we thought. Yeah, d definitely. That's like, what, 350 max? At maybe most. 325? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but Missy, Missy back on that corner is definitely around 400 feet away. Yeah. Henna just throwing a standstill on her third. Swings it pretty wide. Just outside the circle for birdie. It's awesome. Vanessa throwing her fifth shot, I believe. Yeah, with the OB. Mm-hmm. Just trying to get it close. And that out of bounds wraps in so close behind the basket. Yeah. Makes that Scott shot very scary. Henna for birdie. I like the little pendulum action she's doing. Mm hmm. Yeah, I saw her and Evelina at Worlds putting for like five hours <laughs> outside their hotel. They are definitely putting in the work. Missy mm. unable to 
make up the stroke there from out her second out of bounds. Yeah, it's going to be a double bogey. There she is. Great putt from Vanessa. I like how low she gets. Mm -hmm. She puts a lot of power behind the putt. It's got like own vibes too with where it's with a little bit wobble. wobbly. Yeah. yeah. Wobbly, straight, and hard. Kristen with the birdie. I feel like we were highlighting henna's too much. <laughs> Kristen made it look too easy, mm -hmm. I guess. I assumed it was a par. <laughs> wow. And almost 60% of the field with a bogey or worse on hole seven. And Whoa. Yeah, if you can get clean off of this that hole, you're you're feeling pretty good about your front nine. Mm -hmm. Hole eight is 558 feet, but it definitely plays farther than that. Your first shot, you can bite off a lot if you want. There's room to work, but this out of bounds on the left hand side can come into play if you do not work out and uh, wide enough to the right. Your second shot is either a turnover backhand or I love the power sidearm, but that OB again comes in very close around the green. Um, making that shot very scary yeah, to get the close. Sidearm is aggressive for sure. Yeah, you that, see, that's the birdie play. <laughs> yeah, you see a lot of uh, circle two putts for birdie mm -hmm. on hole eight. Yeah, Kristen with a rive. The wind was pretty blocked here, um, till the green. Yeah, I think. Til, until you got way up to the top of the hill. But right here on the tee pad, it felt like nothing. Wow, that has so much power behind it. Just throwing right at the OB and it checks up. Uh, no. It does. I think it does. Did it? Yeah. It curled back in. Just in time. Man, that was a huge shot. She, uh, she threw Star Destroyer there. Vanessa doing the same line, but pulling it a little bit more to the right. You kind of see that is a common error. If you, you know, try to throw straight and end up kind of hysering out a little bit that left side OB's a little sketchy yeah it's so close you're throwing uphill too mm -hmm. so it's easy to accidentally get that hyzer yeah, missy kind of on that right side as well the more right you are though the more difficult the second shot is mm -hmm. Vanessa's going to be pretty pinched and have to throw a turnover she may not even be able to see the basket yeah I mean playing for par here is not a bad plan mm-hmm and Vanessa gets it to within 120 feet. There's that wind again as we get a little further up the fairway. Missy, uh, it's early. Yeah. Oh. oh. I'm sure she's trying to get that to flip. Just left her hand early. This is just for you, Madison. Yay. The forehand play. I love the forehand Gosh, play. Look at this. So scary. Yeah. <laughs> Great it just commitment. makes so much more sense to, to it, my brain. It does, but like, look how tight that OB is on the right. Henna just ridiculously far up here. Stand still. Backhand Anheuser. Lots of glide. With a P2. Wow. Just outside the circle for birdie. Vanessa's third. Chipping up a roach, I believe. Missy to save par from just outside circle two. Bogey for Missy. Kristen for birdie. Wow, great run. I'm surprised that there's there's only two birdies. I on think this, this one. hole is so hard. Really? Just I thought that this was going to be one of the easier ones, honestly. Well, it's hard. Oh, no. I thought there'd be more of the big distance players that get it. Yeah. It's hard for us normal humans. <laughs> I mean, I had a putt for Bernie today. Okay, well. From just outside the circle. But, like, it's good it's, for you. Well, and that's, like, with not a big distance arm. Like, I yeah, feel like no, 325. I, I get your point. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's um, I'm a little that, surprised. I don't know. Valerie Mandahano and Natalie Ryan taking threes. Big ups. Nice birdies. And the wind polar opposite of what you think. Oh, wait, no, there's a, the optical illusion of the flag. <laughs> Hole nine is a par three. Really weird wind on this one, too. It, mm -hmm. You don't feel it as much on the putting green, but there's out of bounds left and right. It does bubble out on the left, which is nice. I think to get there, you see a lot of people kind of throw towards the out of bounds right and just kind of fade in 
right before the circle and ideally skip into the circle. You see a lot of circle twos here. Um, really easy to go to straight and you know end up in the woods and you also see just a lot of people not even really try to get to the pin and bail out left just like this. I mean maybe she was trying to get to the pin but yeah. like that's the error right is to get to the bubble. Definitely and you see a lot of people too just leaving it really low and so they end up just like nosing it into the ground mm -hmm. early. Ooh. And you can see the wind is absolutely toying with these discs, but wow. Hannah just like the most masterful she, angle in the world. She based it. Thunderbird? Yeah. Gosh. That was beautiful. That was amazing. Man, Hannah's so clean. No bogeys. That's going to put her at two down on the front nine, too. Oh, look at Vanessa's shot. Oh, also. yeah. Wow. So good. Mm -hmm. the, I'm telling you guys, the wind on this tee pad was so scary to go for it. And I don't I don't know if you can tell, but the OB feels so tight here. It does feel tight. I like have nightmares about this hole. <laughs> Missy flipping it just a little needs to fade back. Come on. Give her the green. Yay. All right. Pushing it just as hard as you can. Another kind of unforeseen error that can happen here is that big gray rock. Oh yeah. You, your disc can so easily roll around behind it and huh? you just have no putt. Yeah. So, I'm... and it happens more often than you'd think. So yeah, it's... you always see a weird rock putt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Missy from just outside circle two. Big props to Alexis Mandohano today who made a weird rock putt. <laughs> <laughs> a nice. Very impressive weird rock putt. <laughs> Vanessa for birdie. Come on. Mm. I thought that was good. <laughs> so did I. Kristen for an easy par. Gosh. Look at Hannah still hasn't even touched hers. Yeah. Six birdies on the day. We'll get to watch just one on the lead card. And that gives Hannah a stroke on Kristen. And Hannah is leading the tournament. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a bogey-free two down is awesome. Yeah, Kristen also two down with a bogey. Missy with a hot, hot start and then kind of losing it a little bit. She's only one down. And Vanessa having opportunities but not quite getting there. She's two over, but there's still a ton of golf left, and there's birdies out there to get still. Yeah, and she's playing really strong, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she always does. Let's see what the, the rest of the field is doing. Oh, and Scoggins, three down through 11. Look at Ella Hansen, three down, too. Through 17. 17 yeah. Ooh, that's fire. That's great. Um, everyone else hanging out around just over par. It's kind of to be expected, but a lot of stuff can happen in the back nine, especially with the wind. So uh, you guys come hang out with us for nine more holes. Again, thank you to our VIP members. You guys are the best. Again, thank you to GK Pro for supporting us to Hot Geese. We appreciate everyone very much. I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Sinchcomb. Honk. Honk. <laughs>